Why hello guys, my name is Eric, so today was WWDC 2013 for Apple, and Apple did announce quite a few new things. One of the things was their next Mac operating system, Mac OS X Mavericks, hope I'm saying that right. Anyway though, let's talk about it after the intro. So yet again, Apple has announced their next Mac operating system at WWDC. This time, it's Mac OS X Mavericks. Kind of an odd name, at least in my opinion. Now, Apple updates their operating system every year, so not going to be huge updates, so it's not going to be like Windows 7 compared to Windows 8. It's just going to be minor updates here and there, which means it's not going to cost a lot. My guess is it's going to cost around 20 bucks, which was the last time. Uh, anyway, though, this operating system is coming out this fall, so a little bit later than the last time, which was... The last operating system came out, I believe, in July of 2012, so a little bit later. Nonetheless, though, this does look like it does have some nice updates, so let's get to it. So taking a look at these updates, first we have iBooks. iBooks now will be integrated into the Mac OS, which if you don't know, iBooks is Apple's application slash service, which allows you to buy books and then read them on your iPad, your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and now your Mac. Now going down, you're going to see now that Apple is integrating the Maps application to the Mac OS. Now if you don't know, Apple made their own Maps application to compete with Google Maps. I heard that it isn't as great, but personally, I don't know. But it is nice to see that Apple's integrating the Maps application. So say if you have your Mac on the road, you can try to figure out where you live and find directions and all that. Next, we have an update to the Calendars app. It mostly just has a little bit of a different look to it. I guess it's trying to fit in better with the next version of iOS, iOS 7. Also, we have some updates to Safari. It's supposed to be, of course, faster and also looks slightly different. If you see the sidebar, it does look a little different here. Also, there is shared links. So you can see uh, the group where you shared links and whatnot. Uh, it does look a little different, but really, I guess it's supposed to be more efficient and better performance, as you can see right here. Next, we have more iCloud integration. This time, iCloud's going to be syncing over all your passwords across different devices, which really is just very nice and simple and something that should have happened a little bit ago. Next, one of the big things I'm looking forward to is better multi-display support. So if we take a look at this picture, you're going to see that doesn't matter what display you're on, you're going to have access to the top bar and also you're going to have access to your dock, doesn't matter what screen you're on. Now with full screen applications, for every display you have, you're going to be able to have one full screen application open, which is a lot better compared to right now. It doesn't matter how many uh, displays I have, my Mac will only open one full screen application, which is kind of annoying. Of course, on all these displays, you're going to have mission control. And also, if you have an Apple TV with AirPlay, you can be able to turn that into a second display for maybe like a presentation or something like that. Now taking a look at notifications, notifications got a slight update. Now you can interact with notifications, also get notifications from websites, and it's going to do that when you're away, which there's the picture for that. Also, when it comes to Finder, now Finder is going to have tabs, which I don't entirely see the need for that, but whatever, I guess it's going to be useful. There's also going to be these new things called tags, which basically just lets you tag documents and whatnot, if they're important or not. Uh, I don't think I would use something like this, but whatever. Uh, and finally... This operating system is supposed to be more power efficient and faster. So guys, that is Mac OS X Mavericks. Not a huge upgrade, and I think Apple will add some more things to it uh, when it is announced. And it will be announced sometime this fall, probably like October or November. That's at least my guess. But of course, we're going to have to wait and see. Anyway, though, please tell me in the comment section below, what do you think about this operating system? Are you looking forward to it? Do you really just not care? What do you want Apple to do, etc.? Anyway, though, guys, my name is Eric, and I'm signing out.